Hi again. Now we need to create the chest. We need to create this piece right here. I'm going to show you this one. Let's see how can we create. I have this image, the same image. And let's see where should we start. I will switch to the right view hit number three. And I think I need to start from this side. So shift A to add and let's add cube. I think a cube is better to uh, choose. I'm going to change the size from 200 centimeter to maybe 12. Yeah, hit G and take this down, maybe right here. Hit Z and go to wireframe to see what's going on. I will add, I will put the edge right here. Okay, after that, tap to the edit mode. Grab these vertices and hit G and let's move them right there. And let's take this one, hit G and move it right here. Try to align this edge with the shape of the kiss as you see here and let's take this point G and take it to the Z axis maybe right here all right now we got something here let's go to the front view at number one and let's see what we got from the side you can delete one of the side and leave that leave the other side if you want to add a mirror and I think if you add mirror that will make things easier for you so let's grab these vertices and let's open uh, the item and let's move this is and let's move these vertices and let's add here a zero to make uh, the edge at the center and after that we have this face we don't need it hit xf to delete this face so now we just got this piece right here that's cool now after that Let's add a mirror modifier. To add a modifier, make sure to excite of edit mode. Hit tab to object mode, and then go to the modifier properties, and let's add a mirror. All right, now we added a mirror modifier. Let's hit number one to jump to the front view. Close this panel, tap to the edit mode, hit Z and go to wireframe. Grab these edges, G, and move them to the X, maybe right here. Alright, that's nice. Now let's jump to the right view. Let's see what else we can do here. I will put an edge in this area, Control R. And let's add edge and move it a bit. Right here maybe. And let's take this, hit G and take it down. But before that, support this area, Control R again. And let's add an edge right here. And let's take this one, G and take it down. And let, let's take this one, G, and move it right here to create this curve here. After that, let's uh, move this piece, hit G, and move it right here. And grab this one, G, and move this here. Let's add another edge, Control R, and let's support this area from here. And let's hit G and move this. And let's put this right here. And now we got something here. Well, now after that, let's add another edge like this to cut the geometry just like that. So control R and let's support this area maybe with three edges. Yeah, I'm gonna add three edges for now and just slide them up a bit, just like that. And let's grab these vertices and move them a bit right there, just like that. And this one. And maybe I need to move these a bit. Hit G twice and slide these a bit down, or you can move them. Let's move this one down to create this shape, this curve, because I have small curve right here. Maybe I need to move these a bit. There we go. 
What about this side? Let's hit Control R and let's add couple of edges in this side and confirm them. After that, let's grab these vertices and move them up. This one here and this one maybe. Let's see where could we put this. Let's take these down and this one down. And now let's see what we got here. Well, now we just we got the shape from the side view or the right view, but in the front view we have nothing here. We need to push this result. So let's jump back to the side view and let's see where should we start. Let's hit number three and let's grab these faces. And let's move these faces. Let's, let's push them. Hit number one to jump to the front view. Hit G and move these. And push them right here. For now. And let's see what we got here in the solid view. Let's grab these edges. Select the first one. I'll hold control and grab this one. Hit G. And move them a bit just like that. These faces, I don't want them. I can delete them. Select the first one. Hold Control. Grab this. XF to delete them. And let's see what else we can do here. Let's grab this edge right here. And let's move it a bit. And let's take this vertex and push it a bit. Just like that. And this one. I need to create a curve just like that. And maybe I need to push this and push this a bit. Yeah, almost like this. Let's grab this, hold control, grab this edge, and let's take it back a bit, not too much, just a bit. And let's see what else we can do here. Let's grab these four vertices, grab the first one, hold control and grab this one and G and move it a bit. Like that. Alright, so now I think we are close to the shape. Let's hit number one. Hit Z and go to wireframe and let's see what we can do here. Well, let's take this vertex and hit G and move it a bit to create this curve. And let's, and let's grab this one, hit G and take it up right here maybe. And from the back view, hit control number one to see what's going on there. Let's see, did we match the shape? No, we are not. Let's grab these four vertices and let's hit G and move them right here. Maybe grab these four and hit G and move them a bit like that. All right, now let's see what else we can do here. Let's go to the side view again, or right view. I think we have, uh, we need to edit this vertex and move it. A G and move it. Just like that. And what about this vertex? G and move it a bit. And this one, maybe I need to move it to the X a bit. Alright, so now after that, let's add subdivision surface. Hit tab to the object mode and let's go to the modifier list and let's add subdivision surface and let's see the result here. Add uh, two or three iteration. Let's close the mirror temporarily and let's add two maybe, maybe three and let's see what we got here. So now we got this shape. Let's try to edit this further. Tab to the edit mode. Let's see what else we can do here. Let's push this back a bit. And let's make this smooth. Just right click and shade the smooth. But you need to switch to the object mode. Shade the smooth and make it smooth just like that. Tab 
again to the edit mode and this maybe we need to add egg right here or maybe we can bevel this alt click and control b for bevel and just bevel this result now we can control the bevel offset from here if you want alt shift to move it slowly just like that all right that's, so that's cool after that let's grab these faces hit number three to switch to face grab this one hold control and grab this okay after that let's hit i to insert and just be sure to activate boundary we can press p letter let's see what boundary do just watch the results when you hit boundary you will get this result the inset operation will ignore to add inset to this line right here and will focus on these edges so now if i hit p to deactivate it this result that i will get and if i uh if i uh, turn the boundary off i will get this result so let's insert this uh, a bit just like that and let's hit control r to add an edge and confirm it and slide it and let's push it a bit maybe right here now we got something sharp here the same thing on this side let's grab these faces hit the three grab this one and this one control uh, sorry i for inset and give it nice amount of inset uh, and after that can control r and after that control r to add an egg and as you see the egg is not um, the distance here is not equal to the distance up right there so to fix that i will hit e and move it and i can hit f to flip the result if you want and confirm it when you complete just like that and now we got some nice result right here now let's see what else we can do here let's turn on the subdivision surface and maybe we need to slide this egg down g twice and slide it down slide this too and let's support this area with control r to add an edge right here just like that let's turn on the subdivision and let's see the result right here all right that's cool that's nice let's switch to right view and let's see what else we can do maybe i can take these vertices and push them forward a bit just like that and let's see what we got so far we can see the results in this side right here maybe i need to push this let's move this a bit let's select this entire edge loop alt click and g twice to slide it and let's take it forward a bit let's hit e to make it even just a bit like that now we have hard edge right here well that's cool let's see what else we can do here to prepare this let's add edge right here let's see the result control r and let's support this area with the edge maybe one and let's grab this and this and push them G and push them to the Y axis a bit just like that and let's grab these vertices that exist right here and push them forward to the Y axis a bit maybe I need to take those back let's push this a bit and this one
let's switch to the back view control one and let's see the result that we got right here well almost everything is precise and beautiful let's move this a bit maybe right here Maybe I can take those back a bit, not too much, from the right view. And let's move this down a bit. Well, now I got nice result here. Maybe I need to take this back because I just pushed it uh, so far. Let's take this back to make this line straight. Yeah, I think now that's better. All right, so that's cool. Now we got nice result here and it's very beautiful. As you see here, everything is in the place. So this piece is still not completed. In the next tutorial, we will add the holes for the for the arm and for the neck and we will uh, finish this piece but in the next tutorial so see you next